All right, here we have my 2024 Lowrider ST. For those of you guys who are tuning in right now, before this, I had a 2021 Road Glide Special. Got that bike completely stock, brand new, and turned it into a performance bagger. And that bike was, the bike was amazing. It was, it was a really, really nice bike. Then, um, then I traded up for a Lowrider ST. Now, I've been receiving a lot of questions lately on why I did it, am I happy with my choice? And beyond those questions, I've also had a lot of conversations just bumping into people and them asking me, hey, well, you know, are you happy that you traded? Um, I'm thinking about, you know, trading down as well. And that's what I want to discuss today. So I want to have a discussion with you guys about all the discussions that I've been having with it's a lot of people lately. Woof. Got a really nice day out here in dirty Jersey. Around 72, 73 degrees today. So it is perfect weather. Blue skies, clear skies. Can't ask for anything better than that, man. All right, so. Uh, am I happy that I traded my Rogue Glide for this Lowrider ST? I am. I'm very happy in each and every aspect. And people have been asking me, why did I trade it? Well, I traded it because I wanted something smaller. Not because I couldn't handle the Rogue Glide, because the bike was fine. I can handle that bike completely fine. Um, I miss the Lowrider platform. The Lowrider S is my favorite bike. Has been, has always been. And if I was gonna get another Lowrider S, it had to be better than the last. And the Lowrider ST obviously spoke to me. Beautiful design. You have a fairing, you have bags. So essentially, a mini bagger. You have a fairing and bags, once again, like I said, and if you want to add your audio, you could do that. I use my quad lock here for anytime I'm going anywhere and I want to use a map. So, do I miss the screen? Not really. Comfort-wise, this bike is fine. The monoshock suspension on here is way better than the stock suspension that comes on the road glides. Way better. It performs better in each and every way the front suspension is good is it the best no we're actually going to be switching out the front and rear suspension yes i'm happy with the suspension but can it be better can it be updated of course there's always room for improvement and we're going to be doing that i don't want to spoil the fun yet and let you guys know what brand i went with or whatnot but believe me it's something that you really haven't heard of much yet um you guys know me i like to try new things really good things and this bike right here is getting the best of the best and yeah so i'll just leave it with that um so i've been coming across quite a few people lately and they've been you know they stop me they're looking at my bike you know they recognize me and hey you know i watch your videos and you know I've, i really want to know why you changed your road glide for your low rider s because i either have a street glide or i have a road glide and i'm actually thinking about trading and i always ask him like all right well that's cool you know thanks for watching thanks for the support why is it or what is it about your bike your current bike right now your road glider street glide that you don't like because we need to know exactly what you may not like about it and why you want to change it and the answer is always the same i want something lighter to maneuver around easily you know, whether it be in moving the bike around the garage or whether it is parking the bike, whether it's just riding the bike. I want something lighter, something easier. And that's what, all right, we're not gonna wait here. And that's pretty much the same answer each and every time. People want something lighter and they want something more agile, sportier, funner and 
they don't want to, uh, in a way, walk away too far from what they currently have. So going back to what I said before, this bike has a fairing. This bike has bags. You can add the audio. And then the cherry on top, to top it all off, this bike is way cheaper. So you're going to save yourself a ton of money on that as well. To me, it's just a no-brainer. Now, most of these gentlemen that I've been having these conversations with lately are quite a bit older than me. They're in their 50s. So a lot of these guys have been riding for years. Um, most of them pretty much on baggers. And it, it's just, I don't know, it's, it's weird to see that type of crowd, that type of demographic going towards a bike like this that's more performance driven, agile, speaks to a younger crowd, you know? Um, but then again, it's, it goes back to everything that they're saying. They, they just want a lighter bike that's capable enough to do the same thing that their bikes do. So they're really not going to be missing out on anything and they're not downgrading per se. I had someone tell me that one time when, when I uh, first got my bike. They were like, whoa, why, why did you downgrade? And I looked at them like, downgrade? How is this a downgrade? And they were like, well, well, you know, you're going from a bigger bike to a smaller bike. I'm like, yeah, but it's, it's not a downgrade per se in my eyes. Did I take offense to that? Of course not. I don't, I don't really care what other people think. Um, no, it's, it's, it's not a downgrade. So if, if that's one of the things you're worried about, because I know people worry about things like that and what other people think about, and I really don't give a shit what people think about me. I, I, I've always said it on here. I do as I please and I say as I please as well and if you like it cool if you don't then there's more channels out there for you to watch so are you downgrading if you're gonna go from a bagger to this I don't think so and honestly I think it's more of an upgrade I think it's more of a smarter decision that you're making financially it's cheaper it's capable enough to do the same thing that your bagger does and if you want to tour on this bike which I took this bike from New Jersey to Milwaukee without any issues. You're able to tour on it. Has a fairing, has a bag. Inverted front end. Suspension out here from stock is great. It's a beautiful design bike. It's way lighter, more agile. It's very, very, very performance driven. And it's probably the Harley Davidson's, I don't know, to me, the, the low rider S is just the quintessential of Harley Davidson. Like, this bike just speaks to me and it, it just screams out Harley Davidson. It's a gorgeous bike. It's perfect. To me, it's perfect. I don't know. I, there's just not much that I would change on this bike. And this is coming from a guy who you're probably saying, well, you pretty much changed everything on it uh, for aesthetics and more performance and my bike just needs to be at a certain level so yeah that's where we change certain things I, li I like to upgrade and and make my bike look special and at the end of the day that's one of the reasons why we we ride these bikes so much customizations that can be done to them whether it be in your barn riser setup suspension exhaust carbon parts lights just anything this bike in particular right here checks off all the boxes, for me at least. Especially this tobacco fade, this paint job, sold me. It really, really sold me on the bike. I already wanted an ST, but this paint job, it's just something else. It's fun it's really fun anyways that's going to be the uh discussion let me know what you guys think if you are currently on a road glide or a street glide are you debating on switching your bike for a smaller bike 
Is it this one or is it something else on the soft tail frame? Maybe you're looking at a Row King, Fat Bob, Fat Boy, whatever it is, let me know down below in the comments. Let me know what you guys think about this. Um, especially for you older gentlemen out there who maybe have been riding these bigger bikes for a really long time and maybe you don't want to ride around in these big bikes anymore. Maybe you want something like this. Sporty. Come join the dark side. Be part of the dark side. Trust me. The force is strong with this one. I can feel it. All right, enough for my uh, Star Wars shenanigans. I love Star Wars. What can I say? <laughs> Star Wars is God. And with that being said, I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe. And enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.